I wish I could turn Super Saiyan and stop racism and world hunger. You can do what you want to do if you put your mind to it. I did it. Hey, it's the back end child, and this the people versus. I'm finna go through vaccine comments, see what's going on. So this is what young people listening to today feel like I'm losing IQ points just watching this. Well, I appreciate your one view that you gave me, and the music and the lyrics are amazing. However, I wish less artists heavily use auto tune. I'm just an old soul, and it's just not my taste. I mean. I'm not Beyonce or nobody, come on. I need a little auto tune. <laughs> this really next level poetry. That's what I try to do. I try to tell stories and like, and it's so crazy. A lot of people don't know when, when I was in school, I used to hate reading. When the teacher called my name, I'd be like, what? She would call my name every time and I'd look at me. I probably know more than her now. <laughs> okay, D'Angelo Wilson. I hate my life, but I love this song. You put that song before your life, that's hard. Chris, can we stop this baby talk auto-tune error already, please? This would be fire if it wasn't baby talk. Chris, you don't know what I want to say to you, but um, <laughs> if, if you've been through what I've been through, you probably understand a little more better. I feel like when people share their pain, they can heal others. I was down bad today. I feel so much better knowing the other people going through it too. That's really what I focus on a lot, though, trying to make impactful music and soulful music. If I speak what I'm going through, I feel like it's a lot of more people going through that. My music like a medicine, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it heals some people. Like, this song is just clear my sinuses. <laughs> he said this song just clear my sinuses. And I told you my music like a medicine. I said that earlier. I'm so confused right now. What you confused about? I'm glad to see BET tatted on him. <laughs> I'm about to get Nickelodeon tatted across my forehead so people understand my struggle. Send me a picture. No cap, did you attract or sell your soul? I don't even know how to sell my soul. I'm straight out that gutter. That's, I don't even know how to do that. Who I get in touch with? Because if I can finesse him out some money, I'm going to do it. That Alabama accent is so thick, he got to put subtitles in his music videos. Now that's not really why I put subtitles, not because of my accent. I do that because I just really want you to know what I'm saying. Like, because I feel like a lot of people miss what I be saying. Y'all so used to ABC music to these days, like, y'all don't want to sit down and listen no more. I feel like that's why Lil Wayne ain't even popping no more, because, like, y'all scared to listen. It's like, y'all just want to hear bullshit. Uh, it's crazy. He was always that artist I skipped and never gave a chance. I regret it. Uh, I know you do. <laughs> I hate it, no cap. Not a fan. Now I'm an air conditioner. Stay here, whole air conditioner. Uh, hey, I don't give a damn what y'all talking about for the negative comments. Because obviously, y'all got them listening to it. But now, nah, um, for sure, though, like, I appreciate all the love, man. For sure. like. No, I come from none, so you know what I'm saying? Just to, just to see people feeling my pain, you know what I'm saying? That's different, like, that's all I want to do. I just want somebody to feel me, that's it. It's the back end child, and then with the people versus, I'm signing out, appreciate y'all. Job TV, you never disappoint. Love from Africa, now that's hard. I really, I really got a lot of love in Africa. I be saying that, that's crazy. Never been, I ain't never been out the country. Yeah, but my birthday coming up, I'm trying to see something. <laughs>